Hi, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Blenheim Palace for Country Fire Live. Now I've been to this event for the last few years and it's, it's brilliant. There's a mix of everything, whether you bring your family, your friends, couples. And what I'm going to do in this video today is I'm going to show you around and throughout the day in segments, they have the presenters of Country Fire doing like a talk show and old audience participation and just talking about life and what goes on so you're going to see that later on in today's video but to start with i'm going to show you a little bit around and then explain in more detail what goes on and what you can see and do at country file life So as you first come in, just over there, and your tickets in, there's a nice display of all the presenters there, just over there if you want to take your picture, and it just goes on and on. And straight in front of me is the food section, which to be fair, whenever event I come to, <laughs> it's the first thing I go for. There's an array of different stalls and eateries that you can have and that carries on for quite a while and just in the distance there there's still timber wood sports that goes on so let's just have a little look at that and then i'll continue with what else you can see this is our final heat ladies and gentlemen it's elgin Pugh up against rob chatley it's Elgin's favourite event and he'll be pushing hard to get a good time here. He's focused not just on the Nationals but the world. Great for him, pocket. Up he goes. Is it enough? He's got to really push hard. It's all about character now. Big Rob's up on his second board. He's going to need to work as well. Really great work from Elgin here. He's pushing now. He's going for that British record. Great work by Elgin and Rob's still got a lot of work to do. This is where the character comes out in these guys. It's all about putting that extra yard in, keep it moving. It's all on the clock. Lactic like acid starting to build. Really got to press, got to keep pushing. That's winding down, he's got to change gear. <laughs> so that was the Timberwood Sports section and just in front of me, if you can make out that arena sort of shaped object, the cookery displays go on there and I'm going to show you a little clip 
of someone that you might remember from a TV show, a famous chef. You can see if you can figure out who he is. And secondly, when you finish cooking them, you actually let them sit for 10 minutes or so, so that you can actually relax the meat a wee bit. So that was that. Like I said, comment down below if you remember who that bloke was. Ready, steady, cook and can't cook, won't cook were the type of shows he was doing and that was in the early 90s. And right in front of me we have the Mercedes Benz sort of section with all the different types of cars that they sell and they have like an agility section of what the cars can do. And a lot of cars feature this. The Jaguar Land Rover have it as well. So like I said, there's a mix of everything here. So like I said at the beginning of the video, we have segments throughout the day of the presenter of Country File that basically talk to the audience and sort of uh, talk about what goes on behind the scenes and the actual show itself. So let's take a look at the presenters talking about Country File. 10 years yeah. now, incredible, and what a time it was when it changed over. Uh, I did a lot of Blue Peter beforehand, uh, I don't know if any of our kind of middle, I have to say middle-aged audience now, because like, yeah, people who are like 28, 29 That's and 30. That's not middle-age. Well, you know what Safe. I mean. Forty's not even middle age, is it? No, but it is, let me tell you, it is strange when 30-year-olds come up to me and say, I used to watch you when I was a kid, and I'm thinking, oh dear, surely John, John how do you feel when... what about me when 50-year-olds come and say? Don't use the veteran word whenever you do. But it is worth congratulating John. He's one of, I think the only presenter I can think of. He's been on television every single week for 40 years. Oh, right. Right. Almost every week. Almost every week. He's had, he's had the odd holiday. He's had the odd holiday. Now we want to find out more about our presenters. John and I are going to be quizzing Anita and Matt yeah. here. But we're going to be helped by the Wheel of Doom, the Cartwheel of Questions, which is going to prompt us with some questions <laughs> written by the audience and some of our producers. But we'd like a Maybe a young person who's feeling strong in the arm to come and help spin the wheel. Do we have any volunteers out who's there? Who's going to spin our wheel, wheel for us? Anybody, please. We're feeling yeah. far too weak up yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, there yeah, we go. Yeah. Come on out. Absolutely. Give us your name when you get here. Come on down. We've got different categories on the board. Beauty and the Beast, Wild Card, Welly Wanging, Get Off My Land. All designed to, uh, to find out more about the yeah. Can you tell us your name, please? Thomas. Thomas. Where are you from, Thomas? Bath. Great. Right. Ah. Hey. Hey, well, lots of supporters. Right, spin the wheel there, Thomas. Good, strong, push. Wow, where will it land? Where will it be? Welly? Oh, no, not quite. Oh, yeah, welly wagging. It's welly wagging. Oh, okay. it's welly wagging. Oh, do you want to get it? All right, then. Well, there we are, an orange is at the end. There we are. Lovely. I think I was talking to Thomas earlier on. Here we go. Oh my goodness, there's stacks of questions in here. Right. For Matt Baker from Sarah, Wendy from Brighton. Uh, Sarah, Wendy and Paul from Brighton. Yes. What's the most embarrassing thing that has happened to you whilst presenting Country File? Um. Oh God, do you know, I was saying this earlier on actually, and I, I never really get embarrassed. I um, I find it hard to, you know, I just love going with the flow and seeing what goes. It's always very funny as opposed to very embarrassing, but um, things often happen when you are filming that, that sort of get in the way. And I, I know I was saying earlier on about being in, in Dunwich off the coast of Suffolk, where this sunken village is, and we went out to do some <laughs> filming around it and just find out what was happening with the topography underneath as far as the seabed was concerned. And it was so unbelievable choppy that day that I couldn't actually hardly film the thing I was I was literally being sick every few minutes and so that was more kind of yeah I suppose embarrassing amongst the crew really that we could we really struggled to do our job that day but um, I, th I think yeah. presenters definitely have an embarrassment override button yeah. you That's know right. you have You've to never do the again. <laughs> no you wouldn't but what's something that I did find quite embarrassing and this is whoever the director was I know your name I remembered your name uh, basically I watched myself back on TV and I had lipstick on my teeth oh Really? Oh, that's, 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 can you imagine? That's such a simple uh, thing. You've no one thing. told me. That's really unfair. That's really unfair. Not happened to me yet. <laughs> Do you know what Skip said to me once? The best thing for seasickness is to eat a whole jar of jam before you go out. Oh. He said, really, does that help? He said, no, it just tastes best when it comes back up. Oh. And inside here is all your produce, all the types of different sweets, food, and this is the type of thing you'd probably see if you were going to a food show. And at the NEC food show, summer, summer spring and food show, live gardeners world, 
this is probably what you see here and right in front of me is what I've been after all day the green shoelace so I am having one of them I've had some brownies from here as well oh and what I love but unfortunately they don't have it this year even though they've got the Belgian chocolate stand there's one of the brownies I had earlier on they're quite nice to be fair is the uh, Belgian chocolate waffles strawberries and marshmallows stand with the chocolate fountain I ain't running they haven't got no hot chocolate that's, that's the best to know we're gonna homemade honey and we bought a set of these Burgoff sort of cookware and they are really good to be fair giving them a bit of promotion there all your, all your sort of types of salami not for me personally so as you can see there's a mix of everything here if you're into sort of like your food section outside there's loads of food to eat as well but this is I suppose more bakery sort of uh, treats and sort of like uh, preserves and wines and, and biscuits and cookies and taste testers so that about wraps it up for today's video thanks for watching and taking the time to view this video if you have like I say please like share and subscribe to my channel please do I really appreciate it thanks for watching I hope you've enjoyed uh, this day out at Country Fire Live like I say it's a great day to come out to our Blenheim Palace and it's not far to be fair it's sort of I would say it's quite a central location sort of around uh, England not for everybody but it is a really good day out and there are plenty of B&B's and hotels nearby if you fancy staying over the night and uh, you can camp as well up in your caravan so that about wraps it up for today's video thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.